Welcome to your TV for Education training with Michael. Understanding security in Smart Suite TV for Education. Every video that you put on the system has a security rating. How is that security rating arrived? Easy. Number one, menu. Number two, configuration. Number three, authority editor. And then within the authority editor, you've got a long list of authority files. You're interested in two of them. The first one is default video security, or video default security. When you click in here, okay, so you can set up. So if it's G rated, if it's M rated, so M rated videos is year 10. And you go, no, M rated videos for year 12. So if you want to change it, you just click the pencil and you say from now on, anything that's M rated, you need to be a year 12. Okay. And then you save it, you close. Now all of a sudden, any videos coming in, this is not retrospective. So if you've got a hundred uh, M rated videos already on the system, it'll still have year 10. This is for new videos coming in. Okay, if you want to retrospectively change them, talk to us and we'll do it for you or we'll show you how to do it. But basically, any videos that you select from TV to education, depending on the classification, it'll come across with a number and that number corresponds to the year level. So if I said uh, only people that are year six and above can watch G rated content, that's it. So when a year five tries to log in, they'll say, sorry, you're not authorized. Okay. When a year 11 start, tries to watch an M rated, it will not uh, show up, let alone play. So that's the number one thing on all videos coming into the system. Now, what that means is that if you're a teacher and you've added a video onto the system and it's a particular rating that's outside that group of students. So let's have a look at ABC behind the news. Let's pretend for a minute that this is an M rated video. Therefore, students are not allowed to watch it. Okay. How do you now change that and give it to a year eight student, something less than a teacher? Well, you can click on the share icon and regardless of the rating, you're not changing the rating of the video, but you are sharing it with someone. You just go into here and you say, I'm going to give this to my year sixes. And now that link, not the video, but that link will play for your year sixes. But if it was on the screen and you try to play, it'll say, no, that you're not a uh, year six. This is rated for year 12s and above. Okay, so this is how you can take any video, even M MA rated videos, and just change the rating for that link that you've created. Remember, we audit and track who did it, when they did it, so we can then tell you, yeah, but if it's a year 12 video and it's been given to a year six, it, it was done by this person. Okay, so we can track that. So that's how you can do it. Now, on the student side, even the, so how do the system know a year six or a year 12? That's easy. When you put in a patron, and remember patron management is the only one we deal with. When you put in a patron, let me go and find Mike. So find Mike. Okay, and we'll go into, we'll just assume that this is not a left and done. So if Mike was a year 10 student, then his rating will be year 10. So where do I set that security rating for the class grades? That's easy. You go to menu, you go to configuration, you go to authority file editor. And in here, we have a thing called a class grade. And there's all your different class grades. And what you should be doing, if he's a year three, security should be three. If he's a year five, security should be five. If he's a year eight, security should be eight. If he's an administra administrator, should be nine, 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 nine. If it's a teacher, it should be uh, 50. Okay, so all year levels based on the year level, teachers 50 and all administrators nine, 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 nine. So let's have a look at year six as an example. Click the pencil, year six as a security six. And then you just need to click save and close. And that's all there is to it. Very, very simple. Thanks for watching. If you need help with TV for Education, you can email us at support at functionalsolutions.com.au or you can go to our website and leave us a message 
or go to our support page on our website to get additional tips and tricks, training and how-tos. 